two pros, one hickory driver, a long drive competition. Let's do it. James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you like course logs, if you like club reviews, if you like club comparisons, and if you like silly little tests with the Hickory Driver. Two pros, myself and Chris Dennis. Three holes, three shots each, modern day ball, here at the beautiful St. Anne's Old Links Golf Club. Let's get out there and let's see how the Sweet Shot Special L copes on these burnt out fairways. Let's get straight to it. How are you going to hit that? Like a dream. This is going to be a really interesting one because Chris usually puts... What would you put on me, Chris, usually? 20 yard? 20 or 30. 20 yard, but I think I hit the middle of the club more often than Chris. So, I think I'll be rewarded for that. He's laughing. <laughs> How's it feel? It feels incredibly light and, and I'm really hopeful it doesn't break because I'm going to do a review on this soon comparing it with one of the new drivers. So. If you want to see some spin rates, smash factors, all of the above, make sure you subscribe, that is coming soon. Not your best swing. So one hole in and I am there. Blackpool Tower is there and Chris is there, which means Robinson goes one up, get in. So just talking a little bit about this club, this was known as a brassy and would typically be lofted between 13 and 15 degrees. There's a tolerance for you. You can see how it's got the metal plate on the bottom to give it some weight, nicely screwed in, and the heads were attached to these hickory shafts and then wound on just for aesthetic finishers. As you can see, this one's seen better days. Let's talk about the grip, because it's hardly a golf pride, is it? Have a look at that, that is a leather bound beautiful grip and I'm hoping that during this long drive challenge we don't manage to break this because I'm hoping to get it on flight scope in the coming weeks against a modern day driver. Subscribe if you want to see that. So that's one up, we are going on to the sixth tee. It must be said here you have a fantastic view of, is that the big dip? Oh that's not, that's my glove. Blackpool Tower and the big dip there, wow. Anyway, never mind the big dip, Chris. What were your thoughts on the club on the first shot? A little bit light. A little bit light for you, was it? A little bit light. Didn't quite catch you how I wanted to. You were just behind me, though, weren't you? Only just. This see, time, one all. No problem. See, I find the middle of the face normally, though, so... It's a rarity for me. <laughs> We've given Chris the honour this time. See if that makes a difference. <laughs> your line is the clubhouse over there. Hopefully the wind brings it back. left again, is that the next fairway? Might be long enough though, you know, we've got no rules on fairways. Slightly right. This one's going to be close. Let's get down there and have a look. So second shot of the challenge. I've got mine up the right hand side of the fairway. And Chris is there, which means that is back to level one all. He's put about five yards on me there, even though he's down the wrong fairway. How do you feel after doing me on that one, Chris? Oh, over the moon. Over the moon, that's one all. How do you think people used to cope if they swung it fast like you? Retired. <laughs> that's what you should do. I'm considering an option. So 
So we are here on the eighth hole, it is one all, and this is the decider in the Hickory Long Drive Challenge between myself and Chris Dennis. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm going to regain the honour, even though he won the last one, because he took the honour on the last one, which I won, and I think that's only fair. I'm going to open the shoulders up, and I'm going to win this one. Let's do it. I've done a few running repairs on the neck. It's looking better. It's tough on this. I don't know whether I can go for it or whether that'll withstand the speed. It's over. Oh, it's running. Confident. Not your best swing again. Let's go find them. It's going to be a tense walk down this hole. Neither of us hit good ones there, but I think I've got him. Let's go take a look. One thing's for sure with this club, it's nowhere near, as you would imagine, as forgiving as modern day clubs. And here is the suspense builder for you. We have a winner, but James forgot to press the record button because I'm recording on the iPhone today. I don't know if you noticed quality was any different than my usual videos. Chris, who won? Unfortunately, not my share. James for me. Get in. Yes. Um, it's kind of a hollow victory. We both missed the fairway quite badly, but mine was a few paces past Chris's, so every victory is a victory. If you've not seen our, our chipping competition yet that we did at Woburn on the amazing Tavistock short game area, that is either on the channel or coming to the channel soon. Let's see if Chris can get a bit of payback. Anyway, all that's left to say, thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed that video and you do like your historic clubs, Hickory Clubs, make sure you click that subscribe button. I'm going to put it on the flight scope in the next few weeks against a modern day driver. And by the way, I have parred all three holes where I teed off with the Hickory Club. Get in. So thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. And I am now left with this on the ninth hole. See you soon.